Good morning everyone and a welcome to the video. I'm just putting a little bit of milk in my tea here. Jed's gone down for his morning nap and I wait until he's down for his nap before I get a cup of tea. And I get excited for this every morning. Today I'm going to do a six to nine months baby essentials video. I've got my little list here. The first one that I'm going to tell you about are these. So this little guy here, you can see that, is that going to focus? Is a um, banana teething toy. So it's, it's sort of a banana toothbrush, but it's a teething thing. He loves this. He goes to town on this. This is another one, P's and Q's. Not only does it look super cute when he's chewing on this, he's got his little banana, but it's, um, yeah, it's just a really great teether. By the way, with this list, it started off quite long, as you can see, but I've actually crossed a lot of things off. I really want to tell you about the things that are, have made my life easier. This is a uh, silicon bib with a pouch. These are the best type of bibs. I started off using these ones, which have the fabric here and the pouch. Now these aren't bad, but the great thing about these is that they just dry so easily. I can rinse this off at breakfast, put it in the kitchen drying rack, and it'll be ready by um, the next meal. Whereas these ones with the material, you have to wait until they, they dry off. Long sleeve bibs can be really great if you're, especially if you're either out somewhere or you're going out somewhere and you don't want them to get their clothes completely dirty. So this is obviously they've started solids at six months, very messy. If they're eating finger food especially. This one is my preferred one. It has a soft material on the front and like plastic uh, sort of wipeable sleeves which is kind of pointless for the sleeves but as opposed to this one which has the plastic front um the soft fronted ones are better in my opinion because these ones tend to bunch up around the bottom of his chin and he kind of like can't it's it's just annoying this one's better got this from target if you're feeding your baby finger foods, which you will be between six and nine months, I assume some people do are still on mash, but we're on finger food, you'll want a splash mat. It's a square meter of plastic that goes under the high chair. I resisted getting one of these for ages because I basically didn't want to look at it around my kitchen, but I got this last week and I wish I'd bought it sooner. <laughs> and as you can see there's this is actually really clean but there's food falling on the splat mat and most of the time this one meter squared is enough to catch his uh, whatever he goes over the side anyway he's really getting into that there it goes <laughs> cheeky monkey after he finishes feeding, I just uh, move the high chair, I pick up the whole mat, I shake it off in my sink, scoop up the stuff, the food, and put it in the bin. I put the mat out on the bench, wipe it down with a, um, what do you call it, one of these antibacterial wipes, which if you haven't discovered already, these are your friends, and then it's ready to go for the next one. Trust me, it's so much easier than bending down on the floor and trying to clean the floor all the time. I want to show you this drink bottle. This one is called uh, Bee Box. And it is the one that we've had the most success with. I like this one because it doesn't spill. You can chuck it all over the place, it won't spill. With the straw, it did take him about two weeks, I think, to learn to suck out of the straw. So you just have to be patient. They will get it. Just um, give them a drink of water after their meals and they'll get it eventually. So 
This is a tether, which I can't remember if I talked about in a previous video, but this thing is so good. It's a shame they're a little expensive, but what they do, worth it. You put it onto the bottle and then you, it's got these nodules, so you clip it, you can clip it onto the high chair like this. But I also take this out if we're, if I'm going out over lunch and feeding Jed, I can, there's always some kind of toy that you can attach to this and it just means that you're not bending over all the time to retrieve toys off the floor. Something else you want to want to get is um, some kind of cooler bag to pack their lunch in. This is a cute little one that I got from the shop Mr. and Mrs. Jones. And uh, you'll also want to get some little food containers. Look, these probably are crossing the line out of must-haves, but I just find this type of little size container is really good for this age for their food. So just moving on to sleeping now, I wanna talk about sleeping bags. I'm not sure what TOG stands for, like I'm sure it's a thermal something, but basically when you get a TOG rated sleeping bag or a swaddle, it will come with something like this, which is a clothing guide. So if the temperature is in between a certain range, it will tell you to put them in this warmth, this warmth a particular warmth of sleeping bag and it will also tell you what to dress them in. So for example, at the moment it's 17 degrees in Jed's room. I can tell that based on the um, our video monitor and it says to put him in a 2.5 tog sleeping bag with long sleeve pajamas and a sleeveless bodysuit. Just to uh, add in a little bit of extra information, I realized that I didn't tell you with these sleeping bags. Um, I think I did, I don't know. So, don't know about the states. You can see, see into my garage back there. Love to Dream is a really good brand for the sleeping bags. Um, the other good one is Ergo Pouch. Another good one we have is Grow Bag and this was, uh, you can get a few from Maya, and this one was from Cotton On. When you are having a look in the shops, or if we, we order online, but if you're in the shops, you'll be able to see on the tags, it will say something obvious. Okay, I can't get it to focus, but basically when you're shopping for these, you'll see on the tags, it will say TOG rated, T-O-G rated, and it will give you the... The rating whether it's one tog 2.5 tog or whatever if it doesn't have that kind of labeling it means it's not tog rated it i don't know what the filling would would be but a lot of them are filled with polyester you want to avoid polyester you want to go with something like cotton um because it's breathable uh, we also have a wool one by wool babe it's not TOG rated, but it does come with its own index card about what to put them with. The wool one, wool is another fab, uh, fiber that is uh, like thermal, I guess, like heat, reg heat or temperature regulating. So that's what you want to look for. If you're just getting the random ones from Target and Best and Less or whatever, um, yes, they are cheaper, but uh, your baby might end up overheating or you just won't really know what you're doing because you don't know how warm it is. Uh, we have a 0 0.2, we have a 1 tog, we have a 2.5 tog and we have a 3.5 tog to span the range of temperatures that we um, have had to deal with here going from winter to summer. So I hope that adds a little extra info to what I was trying to say. Um, there is one more thing I do need to show you though. It's called the Ingenuity Chair. You, Another similar brand is Bumbo. 
this chair can either sit on the floor or you can attach it to a chair it's strapped securely behind a chair at our kitchen table it's very secure so you can if you live somewhere tight on space you can actually have your chair you can see it tucks nicely into the table and it comes with this little tray that just pops out of here and slots into there it also has this insert which i've just taken out but because he's getting a little bit too big for it so the thing that i've found most useful for this is taking it to my parents house if jed's going to be having a meal there and i'm with him i just pick it up it's you can sort of carry it over your shoulder it's really lightweight and it's just really easy the other thing i've been doing now that he started snacks is in the afternoon i'll set up his splash mat that i showed you before i set that up over in the lounge room just for something different change of scenery and he's he has his little snack on that off the chair on the floor uh, so yeah that's that's something else that we found really really useful where's my tea so there's one final thing that I did forget to talk about and it is such a big must-have I can't remember what video it was in it was in one of my other must-haves I said that you didn't need a fancy um, nappy bucket like a Tom, Tommy Tippy San Genie or I think they're called Diaper Genie in the States I said that you could just have a bucket like a nappy pail okay no wrong don't listen to me that was fine before solids but once solids kicked in for a few weeks oh my god the stench is real it's bad people you can't do it so definitely must have must have that is really the end of the list i hope you found something useful from this and be sure to go over and have a look at my other must-have videos because there's crossovers things from there that are still useful now thanks for watching guys as you can see i am a new channel but i'm intending on putting a lot more mum and lifestyle videos out so if you could give me a thumbs up if you like this video that would really mean a lot to me and hit subscribe and the little notification bell so that you can find out when i post more videos thanks for watching everyone i hope you have a good day and i will talk to you soon bye